Ah, uh, good morning from the Ogwen Valley in Wales. We are currently on our way up Penny Olawan, I think that's how you pronounce it. And we're going to do the 3000ers on the Carnify range, if we can find the start of the walk that is. I'm sure the path heads straight up pretty much from the road. Yeah, so we're parked over there in Ogwen Cottage. We came along the road. There's a stile just there. And I think we found our path. We should start snaking its way up here. We've actually, uh, we've managed to pick up the wrong path. The path we want is actually running parallel, just there, I'll show you. You can just see there, it's a much better path going up there. But we're going to meet it anyway, so we'll just keep heading that way and we'll pick it up. Right, we're on the screes now. It's literally one step up, two steps down. Oh God, it's never ending. Right, after a short break, we're back on the move and we're now heading towards Carniff Daffod. So we've just came from there, down this ridge, quite easy. And I've approached this massive cairn and shelter. And now, it's just a short plod up here. All right, that is me at the summit of Carniff Daffod. I'm going to go over and touch that cairn just in case that's the true summit, as you never know. The cloud has been rolling in and out. This travan again just about to disappear. And my esteemed colleague Anne coming up behind me there. Right, well, you can probably make out in the camera, we're in the pea soup. Visibility is pretty poor and the path is quite indistinct in places, so if you get similar conditions to this, you do keep an eye on your navigation. We pretty much took an east bearing from Carniff, David, and you stay east for quite some time and then it starts to swing a little bit more around, so yeah, just keep an eye on it. So here is a little fun fact for you. The Carnify Range is the highest plateau in the UK outside of Scotland. So the highest in England and Wales. So there's a fun little fact. Alright, that's me in the summit shower. It's half past 12, so definitely a good time for some lunch. Having a spot of lunch, Anne? No, I'm not sure I like the These uh, little salad fish pots doesn't come with a fork like the John West ones, so I've had to shape the lid. 
improvisation. Is that the right word? The highest in the range. The nice interesting features, the way the rock is scattered around. Oh, and there's Ant. <laughs> okay, so uh, another little update for you. We are on our way to the next top, which is an outlier, and you have to go out and back again, which is a bit annoying. But anyways, it's um, Ur Ellen, I think it's pronounced. And that's where we're headed next. So uh, it's in the cloud at the moment, but it keeps coming and going. So fingers crossed we may get a view. Because in my opinion, I think this one is probably the jewel in the crown of the Carn Carnify range. We're having disagreements about which one's the summit. Anne is saying it's the one we've just been at but I'm pretty sure it's this little outcrop here I'm definitely higher than Anne This is higher! Yes it is! So I don't know if you can make out Anne in the mist She thinks that's the summit Do you know what? When I was over there looking at here this looked obviously higher but then when I'm over here looking over there now it's playing tricks on me I visited both so that's all that matters the geology feature that I really like about the Snowdonia is the way the rocks come out in big sheets of rock and they sort of protrude out the ground it's almost very fortress like it's really impressive it's more prominent over in the glitters but I have seen a lot of examples over here as well in the, the Carnify range really is quite impressive Right, as you can guess we are still in the cloud but we've um, been going a wee while since I last spoke to you we've came down, scuttered around uh, Carnef Cluellen because we didn't obviously want to go back up to the summit and we're now on the way to Fulgrach, is it Anne? Yep, yep Fulgrach so, uh, not much to show you at the moment so I shall bring you back when I get to the summit and I might show you the little shelter which just sits on the other side of the summit Right, that is full grach in the bag Let's go down to the shelter And there it is, just here Right, here we go. You wouldn't want to go out your way to stay in that hut, but in an emergency it would be a lifesaver. Okay, dokes, the cloud has lifted. That is where we're headed, right here. And the very last one out the back there and then we're going to come back and go and right down to the north side catch a taxi somewhere down there I think that is the plan righty oh, we're at the summit it's strange, it's a rather grassy lumpy hill and then you get up to the summit and it's just scattered with these large boulders it's known which boulder is the actual true summit Well, we're on the summit plateau What actually marks the true summit is not obvious Apparently it's one of these sort of rocks that are peeking out of the ground It's not that one From here it actually looks like the trig point
Right, apparently this is the summit. I'm not climbing up on that. That'll do. <laughs> oh, dearie me. It's just after four o'clock. Been on the go since eight, just about. So, yeah, it's been a long day. But that's all the Carnify range done for the 3000ers anyway. So now we are set descending down towards Bet Hesda and we're going to hail a taxi there back round to the Alcuin Valley. So it's probably a good time to wrap this up. If you watched this far, thank you very much and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers! I also have to do a really bad part. I'm recording. That's okay. There you go, sound effects. I'm going to film that again.